Today I'm excited to present how we continue to innovate and improve our design first approach for the use of BIM. To demonstrate this, let's start with a quick walkthrough of how you will take your project from concept phase up to the construction documentation phase with Britska BIM V22. We will use the hexagon uh, office building in Huntsville, Alabama as a simple project. We will start with the site our civil team has created for us along with the um, volume of the building. To adjust this volume, you can simply do so with our basic direct modeling tools. Britska BIM V22 greatly improves this workflow by introducing version control. Here you can see how the designer creates a base shape and commits this change to the version history. You can be sure that none of your important work is lost, as at any point in the process you can revert to previously committed version and continue in a different direction. Here, the designer continues to experiment with different variations of the building mass. Each time, we will revert to the base shape to create a new version. The building shape with the rotated sides seems to be the best option, and we can restore it conveniently. This is how version control can help explore different design ideas. Once the main shape of the building has been decided, the rest of the building can start taking a more detailed form. And as you can see, modeling doesn't have to be complex. To achieve what you want, the level of detail of this model was efficiently created in less than 10 minutes. As Peter mentioned, at Brixis, we have a, a fundamentally different approach of BIM. You are free to model with the direct modeling tools so you can focus on your design. Unique in the AC industry, Briska BIM utilizes AI and machine learning to automate the various tasks of developing your conceptual geometry into more detailed design. For example, on this concept phase, you can easily increase the LOD with our tool Quick Building. Quick Building, Quick Building allows you to input specific criteria for the building, such as story height, slab thickness, and wall th thickness. And based on this input, it will automatically split your mass model into levels with slabs, walls, and spaces. Another way the use of AI complement or design first approach is by doing auto classification on building elements. We call this tool BIMify. All core elements such as walls, slab, columns, and beams will automatically class be classified for you. At Brixis, we try to make all our solutions universal and widely applicable. Also, we're always looking for the simplest, most elegant solution. In Briska BIM, plans and sections are essentially the same. It's just its direction in the 3D model. One might be horizontal, while the other one is vertical. This section views, plans, and spaces will also be automatically gener generated by BIMify. In Briska BIM, you can manage all these views from our redesigned project browser. You can generate sheets automatically for floor plans and sections from these section planes or volume sections. You will also be able to access and manage your sheets from the project browser. As Prisca BIM automates this common but laborious task, you have more time left for making important design decisions. As your project progress from the conceptual design phase to design development and detailed design, you want to add the right amount of detail and be as accurate as possible to get the best out of the use of BIM. Regardless of your BIM use case, either as drawing production, coordination, or cost estimation, Briska BIM can help you through this process in an efficient way with a smart tool, pro Propagate. Propagate also utilizes the power of AI and is a versatile tool that can be of use in different ways throughout your workflow. Let's take a look on how it helps to quickly place columns by using the grid and slab as a reference. Another way Propagate can be of use is to help with detailing your model. By detailing, I mean solving the connections of different structures, for example, wall-to-wall, -wall, 
a water slab, connections between steel members, and many more. So in short, this smart tool will edit your model to accurately have the right details and all the relevant connections. How about we add a more detailed context to the sign? For example, a bus station. How does my workflow look looks like if I want to explore this design? For this iterative process, nothing brings more value to your workflow than parametric design. Brix is partnered up with the best in the industry, which is Robert McNeil and Associates. You can design parametric geometry with Grasshopper, natively inside Brixcat BIM, using Rhino inside. Designers can simply create algorithms that drive the model generation and minimizes the time spent on modeling and editing. In this example, we are experimenting with the structural design of the bus station. You can see how changing the algorithms gives you instant feedback in the model view. You can bake the final geometry after reviewing several options. This makes complex structures and design that otherwise would be extremely hard to model and document very easy to create, expanding the imagination of both builders and designers. This parametric design workflow is powerful, but you must be an expert to really enjoy its benefits. And we wanted to give this power to all our users. So we enhanced this integration by introducing Grasshopper-based components. Algorithms that are made by a parametric design expert or your BIM manager can be saved into files, and any designer in your firm can simply load and apply the script to any selected geometry. As you can see here, the project browser is not only the home for view and sheets, but you can also store Grasshopper scripts there and apply them to their designated element. In this example, we're applying various design patterns to simple wall elements that turns them into a curtain wall. We have created three different scripts that can be flexibly applied depending on the design context of each part of the facade. This opened new doors for firms who want to embrace parametric design in a larger scale, as Grasshopper-based components now makes it accessible to anyone. Now, what about presenting your conceptual design to the client? To start with, 3D visualization has never been easier and faster than now. We introduced a live link in V22 to improve the connection between Twin Motion and the Unreal Engine. When using Twinmotion, you can create interactive walkthroughs, renders, and videos of your project in no time. Doesn't it look nice? Now let's fast forward in the project lifecycle to the construction documentation phase. At this point, a model is much more detailed and it has been coordinated between different disciplines. The next step is to continue developing a detailed plans, sections, elevations, where the workload shifts from modeling to the dimension and tagging. Even in a BIM software, it is still a cumbersome process with a lot of manual adjustments. Let's see how the new improvements in Brisca BIM makes the process easier for you. You have seen the project browser in an early phase of the project, but you can really leverage its power in the construction documentation stage. Our goal was to provide a simple and elegant solution for managing project data. The project browser is a storage for all the data related to your projects. It not only contains sheets, but it reads all the external references from a project folder. You can attach images, uh, logos, spreadsheets, and script that further automate your workflow. The value we add to the construction documentation workflow is not only in the automatic generation of sheets and views, but the improved drawing customization in V22, which is now managed on the type lens. Type plans allow you to create filters and rules to override the same view as many times as you want without altering your 3D model or doing manual work on your 2D plans. Some of the properties that can be overwritten are, for example, colors, line types, symbols, materials, and even tags. In this example, we will apply a previously set up type plan to this view that represents a ventilation strategy plan. 
On this view, we only want to bring attention to the spaces with natural ventilation and the panels that can be open. For this, the right parameters have been specified to only highlight the right areas and predefined custom tags have been selected. Tag, tag customization in your type lens workflow is another improvement in V22. These tags can be selected from a set of styles created by you, like this one showing an open window with an air symbol. Any configure settings can be stored in a file to reuse on any other project or store your current project where the project browser will recognize it and allow you to use it again on any view and any other sheet. So here we will show you how easy it is to reuse the high plan. Let's make a copy of this drawing. Let's also rename it. Now, in the following example, we will import a type plan setup file to the project browser. Once it's loaded, we just have to select the view we want to apply this type plan to. In this case, a live and fire safety plan was created for the same floor plan. Now that you have seen how type plans can automate tag creation, how about we take a look at actually creating um, some automatically? For this, we would select to do uh, the columns. OK. Let's see how all the tags appear after a single click on the drawings. In V22, we did not only think about automatic, uh, automatic tags, but also manual tags. With this, I feel confident to say we went far and beyond. You can toggle between the different tags, styles, and contents on the fly. Let's try two examples. We will place a tag on this wall. Now, let's see what happens when you tag the same wall on the plan below. As you can see, it gives, it gives me another tag, a fire writing tag. This is due to the applied life and fire safety type plan. You can see how Briska BIM V22 gives you a wild toolset for tagging elements all the way from full automation to adding manual tags. Another cumbersome process that we improve in Briska BIM V22 is dimensioning. You can freely annotate and dimension anything in Briska BIM, but in V22 we enhance this process by implementing smart dimensioning. You can dimension by either selecting a group of elements or by filtering elements based on specific beam properties. The new smart dimension understand their context. Watch how they adjust themselves depending on which side of the wall you are dimensioning. Here, I would also like to highlight another important improvement that we made in V22, which is the ability to dimension structural plies. You can freely select a large group of elements and filter them by their BIM type to focus on the elements you really need. This makes your work so much more efficient than if you had to select them manually. Before we move on, let's just see one more example of how efficient you can be in Briska BIM when it comes to dimensioning. 
For this one, we would do the grids. Look how easy it, it is to filter all the grids from a really large selection. In Briska BIM V22, we wanted to give you all the tools to automate and customize your workflows. Let me show you what I mean by that. We will use an example of a space occupancy plan. Creating a type plan to color the elements and spaces is easy, but we take drawing customization much further than that. In this example, as you can see, our spaces have been already highlighted. So next, what we're going to do is run a Python script that generates a pie chart of the spaces by their occupancy for all floors. These are conveniently saved in the project browser as image files, which can add a supplementary information to your drawing sheet. And with this, I would like to say that at Brixis, we're developing solutions for the future. Customizing your own workflows with scripting is where the industry is heading. Python is the industry standard, and we made it even more convenient and accessible for you. To get you started faster, we will be shipping Python scripts developed by our AI engineers with Pritzka BIM V22.